Hello everyone and welcome to my fifth Christmas card idea in my Christmas card series for this year. These are the cards I will be making. I'm going to use an embossing folder and I will be doing a little bit of experimenting and trying a technique I have never done before. Here is a quick look on the products I will be using or most of the products distress inks are missing, which I decided to use as I was crafting. Before I start, here is a little warning, I guess. This technique might stain your embossing folders. As you can see here on my embossing folders is a little bit pink, but as it is only pink and purple, I assume it was caused only by the first product that I used. But let's start with the card and let me show you the technique. What I wanted to try is to add watercolors into the wells of the embossing folder. For the first card, I'm using the Nouveau Shimmer Powders, which was my main idea as I thought this will work very well with this technique. These are technically powder watercolors, something like the brusher powders, but they have shimmer in them. And I picked red, pink and purple. But if you don't have these powders, don't worry. I will also show you how these techniques looks like if you will be using normal watercolors. So I opened the embossing folder and I started adding the powders into the wells with the snowflakes. These are the snowflakes that are on the front side of the embossing folder, which is also going to be the front side of your panel. Of course, you can use any embossing folder. This one is pretty old and I'm not sure if it is even available, but I like that the snowflakes are bigger, which means less work. And if you have reinkers or liquid watercolors, you can try those. I think those would also work very well with this technique. After I distributed the powders to each well of the snowflakes, I used something like a pipette and I added a little bit of water to each well. If you do not have a pipette, you can just add the water with a brush. Actually, what I'm using is a pipette from a serum bottle that I utilize for this purpose. And after I was done applying the water, I used a damp brush to spread the paint to the whole snowflake. Once I had all the snowflakes filled up, I picked up my watercolor cardstock. Here I was using a cardstock that I bought in the shop Flying Tiger, but you can use any watercolor cardstock you want. And in a bit, I will also show you how it looks like on the Canson XL watercolor paper. I placed the cardstock on the back of the embossing folder with the front side up. I closed the embossing folder and I put it on my die cutting embossing plate. I don't have space for my die cutting machine on my desk, so I have to die cut it off camera. I run it through my die cutting machine. I actually run it twice, left and right, but this was not for any specific reason. And here is the result. I think it looks pretty awesome as these powders have shimmers in them. That's why they are called shimmer powders. In the light, the background sparkles, which is perfect for Christmas. As I said, I also tried the Canson XL watercolor cardstock and here is the result. I had here more white spaces. You can use a brush to add more color if you want, which I did here as well. I just use a damp brush and spread the color around. By the way, on the pink panels, I only added water in the wells. I didn't spray the embossing folder or the cardstock. I let both panels air dry and I worked on the next background. And here I used normal watercolors. I also cleaned my embossing folder and here you can see these powders will stain your embossing folder. If you have any recommendation on how to clean plastic, let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. For this background, I picked the Gonsai Tambi watercolors from Kuretake as they have big pans and I can add more water into them. I was adding a lot of paint. That's why I think reinkers or liquid watercolors might be better option, but I do not have any of those. As you can see, the paint was not spreading across the snowflake. So just in case, I sprayed it with clean water. And then I placed in the watercolor cardstock. Again, I used the one from Flying Tiger. I closed the embossing folder and run it through my die cutting machine. And here is the result. I think it looks pretty awesome. I also used my brush to sort out the pooling of the color at the bottom and I let it dry. I thought I was done, but I wanted to try using Distress Inks. And instead of making another video, I thought I will put it into this one. I used mini ink cubes and I picked a few colors. The exact colors you will find over on my website in the corresponding blog post. The link is in the description below. Again, I was adding the color onto the front part of the embossing folder, 
but this time on the raised areas around the snowflakes. So I wasn't adding any color into the snowflakes, just around them. You could pretty much say I was smooshing the distress inks onto the embossing folder. After I was done with the ink application, I sprayed the embossing folder with clean water. Then I placed in the watercolor cardstock. This one is the Canson XL. I closed the embossing folder and I run it through my die cutting machine. And here is the result. Since the ink was around the snowflakes, the snowflakes stay predominantly the same color as the cardstock. Again, you can use a brush to adjust the color a little bit. You could cover the snowflakes as well, but then you could create a watercolor background before you emboss without doing any of these techniques. Again, I let the panel dry and then I adhered all the panels onto white card bases. You can use a foam tape if you want to have it a little bit raised, but I just used a simple double-sided tape. Let me show you the backgrounds first before I put anything on them. Here are the pink backgrounds. As you can see, when the light shines on it, the colors sparkle. That's due to the shimmers in those powders. There is no shimmer on the other backgrounds, but I like them nonetheless. And the card will have enough sparkle at the end. But if you would like to have some sparkle, you could mix liquid pearls powder into the spray bottle. To finish up the cards, I used glitter cardstock, gold for the pink card and silver for the other ones. And I die cut a few snowflakes and a greeting. For the greeting, I used the words let it snow. And because the die is quite wide, I decided to make horizontal cards. The snowflakes I adhered as they are, but for the greeting, I die cut two additional layers that I glued together. So it's a little bit raised. Some of the snowflakes I adhered using a foam tape, but most of them, as well as the greeting, I adhered with a liquid glue. And the cards are finished. Here are all of them together. I really love the results. A lot of sparkle, lots of glitter. I hope you will try making something similar yourself. It is a lot of fun. And if you would like to see more Christmas card inspirations, there are two cards on the left of your screen that you can watch, or you can also select the full playlist with all of my Christmas cards, which is on the right. So that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Pinterest. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.